If you ask me to describe the mentality of a Russian person in one sentence, then I will immediately say that he doesn't care. He does not give a flying fuck. And this mindset can destroy us during these difficult times. Greetings comrades, and today we will talk about some features of the Russian mentality, and especially about how they prevent the implementation of effective measures to control the coronavirus epidemic in Russia. Type Russian mentality into Google, and you'll be offered dozens of options for the particular qualities of Russian people. Someone will say that the main quality of Russians is sadness. Others will note the mysterious and strange Russian soul. Some will pay attention to our desire for honesty, while others, on the contrary, will call the Russians lion and envious. And of course, last ones are simply not true. In fact, all of these papers are not quite right. Mainly it's because the word Russians is usually accepted for all those people who live in Russia. And it's worth recalling that Russia is a multinational state with more than 180 different ethnic groups. Just look at this list. All of these people live in Russia. And believe me, Chechens and Yakuts are almost as different as the Chinese people and Sudanese Arabs. However, for Western languages, both Chechens and Yakuts will usually be described in one simple word – Russian. And even those who are truly Russians are not at all like those tall, blonde, cold-blooded villains from the action movies of the 80s. So what do Russians have in common? They have a common history, at least in the last hundred years. And it was precisely these years that helped those people to produce one common feature. They don't give a fuck. No, Russians are not soulless animals that do not care about anyone but themselves. This is not true. They care about family, they care about friends, they care about the country even. But in general, over the past 100 years, the life of the every resident of Russia has changed so many times that they simply do not have the strength to worry about anything. Revolution, war, famine, economic crisis, political crisis, the average Russian does not care. If Russians were worried about everything that happens in their lives, they would have already died of heart attacks. I think you already understand what I'm leading to. New and scary Chinese virus. Do not care. Survived swine and bird flu and will survive this. This is the mindset of an ordinary person in Russia right now and it is very dangerous. And in many ways, the news media are to blame. I perfectly remember the panic that TV channels and newspaper raised in 2002 or 2009 about a disease that is coming to us from China and that will kill all living things. And people also remember that. And now when they hear about coronavirus, they're thinking, ah, that's exactly the same nonsense. And it's very hard to convince them. Add one more characteristic feature of the Russians. They do not trust the government. People believe them in some global way, but do not believe in particular cases. How does quarantine work in Germany? Authorities told people to stay at home and not go out. People sit at home and do not go outside. Actually, that's why Germany has such a low mortality rate from the virus, because people carefully follow the instructions. How it works in Russia? Authorities told people to stay at home, but everyone thinks to himself, well, I am not sick, why should I do this? Oh, yes, the virus is bullshit. More people die from the flu. Or, well, I didn't travel anywhere, I'm not afraid. Or, well, yes, I came from Spain, but I have a lot of important things to do, need to do them as soon as possible. Don't believe me? I have lots of examples. By the way, it's worth noting that so far strict quarantine has not been introduced in Russia. So far, this is only a nationwide paid holiday, which will last a week. It was introduced to encourage Russians to stay home and slow the spread of the virus. Accordingly, the authorities have practically no tools to control citizens, and they are not going to facilitate the work of the authorities. Let's start with the most famous stories. I have already talked about this story in the last video, but it is worth repeating it. This is the head of infectious disease department in the Stavropol region. She returned to work after vacationing in Spain despite having coronavirus symptoms. After returning from Madrid, the woman gave lectures to students of the medical academy and was also in the region's Ministry of Health. According to the authorities of the region, the coronavirus is suspected in another 300 people in this region. So, in fact, a person consciously endangered the population of a whole city, and now she faces criminal liability. Do you think this is a single case? The famous Russian artist Lev Leshenko returned from the United States with symptoms of a cold, went to a party where almost all representatives of Russian pop stage were present, 
then went to a TV show where the other half was present, and then ended up in intensive care with pneumonia and coronavirus. How about dozens of oligarchs who fled from their favorite Kurshavel where an epidemic erupted a few weeks ago? And only recently they were all placed in isolation. Before that, they came to Russia and calmly minded their own business for several days. You may say that only rich and high-ranking people who do not care about the rest are famous for such behavior. But look at this news. It probably needs some explanation. Moscow authorities have urged people over 65 not to leave home since March 26. For this, the authorities paid them some allowance, but at the same time blocked the cuts for free use of public transport. And what do we see? 63,000 people did not give a damn about all this and set off to travel around the capital on a first day. And this is a group of people who really should be afraid of the virus, because they have a serious chance not to survive the disease. But no, they do not care. I can give you an example from my personal life. My head of laboratory falls into this age category. Starting on Thursday, he had to sit at home and not go out anywhere. Guess who I met first thing on Thursday morning at work? And this was despite the fact that the director personally forbade him from coming to work and the security refused to give him the keys. What happened on Friday? He was at work again. He came in from the back door, bypassing the security, and opened the cabinet door with his own key. What were his arguments? Well, what else I am supposed to do? How should I work? And this is a man who has been engaged in microbiology for 40 years, who is a doctor of sciences. He is just obliged to understand the whole danger of his behavior. But he is Russian, he does not care. Young people also do not care, but for another reason. They are afraid of losing their jobs while staying at home. Yes, Putin formally introduced a weekly paid holiday. Who will pay for them? Private businesses. Do private businesses want to let their workers go on holidays? No. It turns out that half of the people are not self-isolated not voluntarily, but simply because they have no choice. Either you don't stay at home and don't isolate yourself, or you are fired for a far-fetched reason, such as the life of an employee in modern Russia. Even Putin is unable to control the private businesses. They don't care about his orders. They are only interested in their own profit. Overall, we have a very dangerous situation. Some people want to take precautions, but they are not able to do it, because their employer doesn't want to lose money. Some people do not believe in the virus and continue to live as usual. Some people enjoy a sudden weekend and are already planning how they will go to visit their grandfathers, grandmothers and cousins. Indeed, are they supposed to sit for a week in their two-room khrushchevkas with the children and the dog? Some people will go to their dachas, and at least they will be able to stay away from the crowds. Are you certain that it is possible to effectively stop the epidemic in such conditions? I am not. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.